And Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gerskovich, who was mm -hmm. taken into custody in Russia, accused of being a spy. Well, you just had 200 Russian journalists sign an open letter demanding that he be released, saying that there's no, nothing to these allegations that he was spying. How do you think the Biden administration should go about handling this? They just did that very um, difficult and they made a tough decision about a trade in order to get Brittany Griner back. Is that something that should yeah. happen here? I mean, this incident highlights the growing concerns about the you know, press freedom in Russia where journalists and reporters are often targeted and harassed by authorities for their critical uh, reporting. And the detention of Evan is yet another um, example of the Russian government and forces silence independent journalism and, and free speech. So we got to do whatever we can to bring Evan uh, home. And I'm, um, like you said, oh, more than 200 activists and journalists have signed a letter to release of uh, Evan. So, um, I mean, the international community has also expressed its concern over this uh, incident. And, you know, like I said, again, we got to do whatever we can to bring him home. One last question is uh, uh, about the people who signed this letter. Talk mm -hmm. a little bit about what it takes in terms of being brave and courageous to speak out like that when you know what the consequences could be. You know, freedom definitely comes with a price. And I have so much respect for people who knows that they could get themselves in trouble, but they're still standing up for freedom. They're still trying to be the voice of all those innocent people out there who don't have a voice. They're still standing strong for democracy around the world. So I have such respect for people like that, and Evan was uh, one of them. So we got to do whatever we can to help those people around the world. All right. Ennis Cantor Freedom, thank you for your time mm -hmm. this morning. Hope to see you again soon.